Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Destiny Cathedral this morning. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Stand on your feet. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We welcome you, those of you who are joining us on YouTube this morning. And we say a happy Father's Day to all the men today. Biological fathers, fathers-to-be, fathers who have covered many children. Today we bless your name. Amen, amen, amen. The Word of God says to honor your father and your mother. So today we take time out. We take time out this morning to honor the men, the creation of God, the head of the households. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord today. Hallelujah. We give God honor and praise today. He is worthy of all our praise. We were here on last Sunday and God has been gracious enough, gracious enough, merciful enough to bring us back into the house one more time this morning. So we just want to honor God this morning. Amen. 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 To God be the glory. The word of God tells us in Psalm 103, it says, praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we honor you today, God. We say thank you, God, for your son, Jesus the Christ, the one that you sent, the one who accepted, God, the challenge to die for us that we might have eternal life. We thank you, God, that your son came, God, and he shed blood, that we are protected even on today, up to this very moment, and for the time that you have designed for us, God. We thank you, God, for being our healer, God. We thank you, God, for our redeemer. We we thank you, God, for being our deliverer. We thank you, God, for covering us in our homes all week long, God. We didn't have to worry about anyone breaking into the house, my God, because the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed lives on top of us, God. We are saturated by the blood of the Lamb. So, Father, we thank you for this week, God. We thank you, God, how you carried us through, God. We thank you, God, how the money stretched, my God. We thank favor in the stores and at the stations and various places in our life. We thank you, God, that we had someone to listen to us on this week, my God. We thank you, God, that we were able to give a listening ear to someone who had no one to pay them any mind. We thank you, God, for turning things around in our life, my God. We thank you, God, just because of who you are. And Father, we recognize God. We recognize my Father that there is nothing, absolutely nothing that we can do, God. There is absolutely nothing that we are worthy of, God. And we understand, God, and we live knowing that it is your grace, my Father. It is your love, my God. It is your embrace, my God. It is your arms wrapped around us, God. Even if we feel like we're down in a pit, even if it feels like it's the 11th hour, even if it feels like it's dark, today, God. Those who have physical ailments, God. Those who have no transportation, God. Lord, that you'll bless them, my Father. Lord, that you'll continue to cover them, my God. And Lord, for those who are in their homes with no excuse, my God, we pray mightily, my God, that you would nudge them, that you would move them, God, that you would remind them, God, tomorrow is not promised, my God. The next moment is not promised. So, Father, we are ever grateful. We are ever thankful we are ever loving God and father today we pray for a spirit of discernment that would be quick in God that when the man of God comes to bring the word God that our hearts would be permeated God that the garden would be watered God and that lives and souls would be saved my father because that is what church is all about my God it's not about a building it's 
not about the people, God, except that we would go out and spread the gospel. So, Father, we thank you for this privilege today, God. We thank you for this moment today, God. We thank you for the word that was given to us over 2,000 years ago, God, that is still relevant today, God. So we lift your name today, Father. We say glory, hallelujah. We say glory, hallelujah. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. We are going to receive our worship team in just a moment. But in the meantime, I want you to just usher the Holy Spirit in. I want you to raise your voices for our Father, for the Lord, for Jesus the Christ, as our worship team comes. To God be the glory for all the wonderful things he has already done. God bless you. Come on and give God praise. He's amazing. He's amazing today. Hallelujah. How many know that if you're a friend of God, he can give you his secrets? Amen. Glory to God because he's wonderful. Happy Father's Day, Lord. He's the father of all fathers. <laughs> glory, glory. Hallelujah. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I am a friend of God. Don't you love him? Don't you love him today? Don't you love him today? Don't you love him? Don't you love him? Don't you love him? He's amazing. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and clap your hands with us. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, glory.
Shout of praise, it's all about Jesus. Come on and inhabitate this place with praise. All about Jesus. Come on and bless his name. Hallelujah. It's all about you, Jesus. It's not about me. It's not about my father. It's not about my husband. It's not about my friend. It's all about you, Jesus. Come on and bless his name. Come on and bless his name. Come on and give him praise. your name Jesus we bless your name Jesus we bless your name Jesus it's all about you you are the one that's going to say well done thou good and faithful servant or depart from me I know you not it's your choice today but it's all about Jesus it's all about Jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a friend of mine. Is he a friend of yours this morning? He's a friend of mine. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Put all your sorrows aside. Put all your problems aside. Put all your testings aside. Focus on Jesus this morning. Let him deliver you. Let him bless you. Let him help you. Let him anoint you. Let him speak to you. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. You may have your seats. Hallelujah. We say to the men in the booth, on the right and on the left, happy Father's Day. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, Timoy. Put your hands together as she comes. Bless her. Come on, you can do better than that. At home. Put your hands together as well to Moai. Good afternoon, church. Glory to God, glory to God. So I call this poem a grateful letter to a father. A father's love that never forsakes you, never leaves you in the midst of a heartbreak. A father that teaches for the better and pours into you like a well running over. A love that welcomes me home like a prodigal son and nurtures me like a mustard seed. A father's love so strong that if I was lost, he would search high and low 40 days and 40 nights to find me. No matter what it takes or how much of it, a child yearns for this father's love. Our father in heaven is a role model of all fathers. A father that sacrifices, nurtures, cares, respects, and loves. That's a father that speaks volumes without having to say a word. All the fathers listening near and far, God our Father has been crafting you since the day you were chosen. Adding a couple generosity here, a couple knowledgeable there, and a couple faithfulness. No matter the ingredient, nor the amount, God has made you just like him. So we thank you for being a father here on earth, one that's one call away for wiping our tears, teaching us your principles, and giving us a big laugh that makes us tear. A father love you can never compare, but hold dear. A grateful letter to a father here and there. Praise God, a father's love, amen. Amen, thank you Jesus, thank you Tamoy. And oh, by the way, she wrote that. That was her own writing. Amen. God has great plans for you, Tamoy. 
Praise God. We're going to have a presentation by Gabby. And while she's coming, I just want to thank those that are watching from on YouTube. I understand we have uh, Barbados on the line, Jamaica on the line. Uh, Canada is watching on the line. Of course, New York, uh, North Carolina, and Jamaica, and uh, Missouri. Missouri? Yes, I believe Nettie's. Missouri. So she's out, uh, and those that I might have missed, I'm sorry, I apologize. So we do have folks watching all over New York, and so we give God thanks and praise for that. We bless God for that. That's a great opportunity. We thank God for that. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>
So I celebrate each and every father, my heavenly father, and certainly to his grace, the pastor Paul Patrick and, and his lovely wife, first lady, and to all you fathers out there, I'm blessed and I'm just so happy and I pray that the Ministry of Music is, as always, just a blessing on to you. Certainly I'm honored to have my father here today and it's always so glad to be able to see him and talk with him and laugh with him and everything.
Jesus, the center of my joy. Sing with me, Jesus, the center of my joy. Hallelujah. Come on and put your hands together again for Minister Ballard. Praise God. God bless you, sir. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Wow. Can you just had a glimpse of heaven? You just had a glimpse of heaven? Wow. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As Kareem get ready to come for, to represent Children's Connect, we just want to acknowledge Sister Marcia. Sister Marcia, please stand. As we acknowledge Sister Marcia, she led the children through a tie-dye uh, process. And uh, the children weren't only in New York, they were also in New Jersey. So we give God thanks and praise for you, Sister Marcia's gift. This is a representation of what was done, led by Sister Marcia, on uh, Children's Connect via Zoom. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say that for all the dads, and especially my dad, is that with, well, we all know that we have a loving and caring mom for Mother's Day, but today is Father's Day, and it's all about fathers today, so I just wanted to say that, that you've been one of the most supportive people in my life, especially when I have to go to my basketball games, you always take me there willingly instead of my mom. And yeah, I just wanted to say that I love you, Dad. Beautiful, beautiful. And just a little bit about Kareem. Kareem uh, graduated, uh, I believe it's two, three days ago, a couple days ago, and he was the salutatorian of his class. He was the salutatorian for his grade. Yes. We give God thanks today for a man of God and a woman of God who are here with us today, all the way from New Jersey. And uh, they have stood with us since, well, since before the pandemic. We've known them when our children were little babies. We're going back now over 30 years. And we thank God for Reverend Evelyn and Lady Barbara Evelyn who have been supporting us. They've stood with us in that 40 day season of prayer and fasting for our nation. And since then, we have made a special bond and connection. And we thought it would be fitting to have him come today and bring God's word. Amen. Let's welcome today with the word of God on this Father's Day, Reverend Joseph Evelyn. God bless you from Warriors for Christ. God bless you, sir. Amen. You may have your seats. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet you in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I know I need no introduction, so everyone already know who I am. Praise God. Also, thank God for my wife. Praise the Lord. Lady Barbara. Hallelujah. But I bless God for Reverend Dr. Paul Patrick. Praise the Lord. Giving me another opportunity. Praise the Lord to speak on Father's Day. Now, I only have 20 minutes, so... I have, if I stop for five, it cuts me down to 15, so I'm going to watch the clock over there very carefully. But I want to wish, praise the Lord, every father in the house, those in YouTube land, whether you're a biological father, whether you're an adopted father, whether you're a spiritual father, in some capacity of fatherhood, hallelujah, we want to praise God, bless you, and thank God for you, fathers, this afternoon hour in the name of Jesus. I give God glory and praise for you in Jesus' name. Now my topic, praise the Lord, hallelujah, is called understanding the principle of fatherhood from God's perspective. And amazing thing sometimes how God speak to you. Uh, Pastor Paul, praise the Lord, or pastor, he was 
um, interviewing, praise the Lord, three of the young people here at Destiny. Praise the Lord. I know he was interviewing Tomoy. Then we have Daniel and Jonathan. Those are the Noron's children. Praise the Lord. And why is he was there interviewing them and asking questions and, and they were able to respond back to him. I just heard these words dropping in my spirit. Praise the Lord. Understanding the principle of fatherhood. And I, with, with that, it tells me glory to God that they have great fathers, hallelujah, who has brought them up and they stood to the principles of their fathers. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Even praise the Lord. Not only we know Pastor Paul is a biological father, but he's also a spiritual father. Praise the name of the Lord. So that's where I got this, this, this topic from, just listening, hallelujah, to, to Pastor Paul um, interviewing these um, young adults, praise the Lord, what they have to do in college, what they observe in college. So praise the Lord, I'm going to go just one scripture, I'm going to take Genesis chapter 18 at the 19th verse. Does it read? For I have chosen him, that's Abraham, that he may command his children and his household after him to keep the way of the Lord by doing righteousness and justice so that the Lord may bring to Abraham what he has promised. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we're looking at fatherhood today from God's perspective. I don't believe that we can look at it from any other way. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But God's perspective. Praise the Lord. So when we think of principles this day, principles are designed to simplify life. There are laws, there are rules, and there are doctrines. Principles protect and they preserve. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There also are laws that govern life in the face of change. So I said like this, praise the Lord, to understand principles of fatherhood, we must look at it from God's perspective. And God is the greatest father that we can find in the entire universe. Hallelujah. Not has biological father, but has creative father. Hallelujah. He is the one who has created, hallelujah, fatherhood. Hallelujah. And not only God create fatherhood, but he is the sustainer of fatherhood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So this way we are going to look at it from, hallelujah, in just a few moments. Hallelujah. As I keep my eyes on the clock. Hallelujah. So in Bible's time, from the very beginning, we see God as greatest father, founder, nurturer, supporter, sustainer, and protector of his children. Hallelujah. So we look at God as the Father. First of all, we look at him creating. Hallelujah. Us to become a father. What makes God a father? Hallelujah. What makes God a father? It is you and I. Hallelujah. That makes him a father because he created us and he becomes father. Hallelujah. So he knows glory to God. I think of God in the press in the prospect of, of fatherhood when he make man from the dust of the earth. When he take man and he get that dust together, he form man, hallelujah, and he breathed into man his very breath, and man became a living soul. So God become or became a father. When we, hallelujah, were created, when God makes us, we become the Father. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So that's where we look at it from. If we are going to be good fathers, if we are going to be strong fathers, we got to look at it from God's perspective. If we look at, at, at fatherhood from cultures today, we may not able to make it. 
hallelujah. But when we look at it from God's perspective, we're going to get it right. For if we are going to able to get fatherhood right, we're going to get it from God's perspective. I always like a starting point. Whatever I do, hallelujah, I like a starting point. I look somewhere some starting point so I look from God as the starting point of fatherhood hallelujah and if we can follow those principles of God hallelujah I believe we will have a better world of fathers today hallelujah not that we don't have great fathers we have very great fathers today in the world but when we take it from God himself, hallelujah, we will do a better job than what we are doing today. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we can give God praise and glory. The first thing we see God doing, hallelujah, is place him as a father. He's placing responsibility upon Adam. Before Adam became a father, God teach him responsibility. That means he put him in the garden. Hallelujah. And he began to taught him what it means to going to be a responsible father. Hallelujah. Why we have to be responsible father? Because we have children coming behind us. And we want to make sure our children will be able to follow in our footsteps and also be good fathers to those mothers that they meet in life. Hallelujah. So he placed that responsibility. Let him learn not only with people, but he teach him responsibility of what it means to be a father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So when it came now to God to choose someone else, he looked at Abraham. Hallelujah. He looked at Abraham and he said, glory to God. And that verse we read, for I have chosen him that he may command his children and his household after him to keep the way. So as God has chosen Abraham, Abraham take his fatherhood or direction of a fatherhood from God. He never looked into the world looking for fatherhood, looking for how it may work. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something about fatherhood. Fatherhood is great, it's lovely, it is wonderful, but at the same time, there can be consequences where fatherhood is concerned if we don't have a proper understanding. Hallelujah, our fatherhood. Some folks, some young men, just jump into fatherhood with their two feet in, not thinking of consequences, not thinking what is going to happen next. Glory to God. And because they don't have that understanding, they have gone that way when a young woman will look to them and said, I am pregnant. And what happens? That young man, this is not the case in every young man, but he's terrified. Fatherhood can terrify some folks. And he has gone his way. And now when they said consequences, the young woman now have to raise that child all by herself. Hallelujah. She have to work. Hallelujah. Because the young man is nowhere around. Some don't support them. Hallelujah. So there it is. That young lady has to raise that child along also with the parents and all of those that is going to help her to raise the child. So even though that fatherhood is good, it also carry not only consequences, but there's a lot of responsibility that come with fatherhood. Another thing about fatherhood this morning, fatherhood has much a broader meaning than just to be a biological product of children. It means that we have to be upholders. We have to be protectors over those children. We have to be a shield, hallelujah, and provide for them, protect them, hallelujah, glory to God, even when they are wrong. Fatherhood doesn't change 
as our children begin to grow and they begin to do things that may not be so right. It doesn't change the principle of fatherhood because if it used to, then God would have changed his principle of what it means to be a father. And then when I am in trouble, I can't go to my father because he just said, you've been so disobedient. You do what you like. But this is not the case with our Father who is in heaven. He is willing to accept us back even though we messed up, we do things wrong. He is saying, I still love you. I still love you. I still care for you. Just like the prodigal son, Father, hallelujah, we know the story well. He went his way. He spent all that he had. And he said, well, I don't think my father will ever accept me back as a son. He will make me as a servant. But we know the story. The father was keep looking. And when the son returned, his hands were outstretched for his son. Hallelujah. So it is with a father. In spite that children matter, we will stand with our children. We will stand with our children. The other day something made me laugh. My son Neil, he was telling his friend, you guys come up, you know, with your peers doing all of that and you don't know what it is. I grow up with tough love. He said, I grow up with tough love. <laughs> all I laughed. Because he know, Love, tough love doesn't mean you hate your children. It doesn't mean that you don't care about your kids. But you have to have tough love. If they're going to be all that we want them to be, we have to be tough. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I'm just running through. Hallelujah. This afternoon. Another good thing about a good father. A good father is priceless I want the wife to tell that father already the spiritual father biological father adopted father you are priceless you are priceless a good father hallelujah is priceless so are the children their lead and their investing hallelujah hallelujah so that father is Priceless. Now we cannot talk about fathers unless we mention mothers. Hallelujah. It is, it is nearly impossible to talk about fatherhood without mentioning motherhood. Glory to God. Because behind every good father, there is that mother. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the two work together of building that child. Hallelujah. They said it takes a village to raise children. And that is just true. I know of a culture, you may have never seen it, but when there's a time for marrying, hallelujah, in certain African culture, hallelujah, there's a downing. Sometimes when that man is going to marry to that young woman, he may have to end up with 30 something envelopes. Because what that is, he have to give mother, uncles, aunts, all the family members, and even someone outside of the family in that village, whether they wash that child's face when he was growing up, whether glory to God, they buy a suit for him, they also are involved. Actually what they're saying, every one of these folks is the one who makes this child who they are today. Not just the father and the mother, but everyone that is involved. So you better have some money when you're getting married, hallelujah, in certain African culture. Glory to God, because that is what it's going to take, or no wedding is going to take place. Hallelujah. But look at God this morning. We have the greatest father that we can think about. Not only are he our heavenly father, he's not just a father, but he's a friend to us. When you got a father that 
can be your friend. You can talk to him about anything. You know that there's some children can't talk to their fathers? They're terrified when something going wrong. Oh, my father is going to kill me. He is going to put me out of the house. I don't know what I am going to do. But when the father becomes your friend, hallelujah, you can go and say, Father, I messed up. I really messed up this time. And the father will sure his love. It really proved fatherhood. You got a good understanding. You understand the principles of fatherhood. And glory to God, you're going to stand with your child. Glory to God. Glory to God. All right, let me get down to my final. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Words, glory to God. Hallelujah. I begin to but what some people are saying about fatherhood some says fatherhood is tough some fathers it can be terrifying it is a hard job why life changes immediately that a child is produced for that father because it is work it is the spouse Hallelujah, and now it is a child. Hallelujah. Some say, well, I'm not ready for a child. I, I don't see how I'm going to make it. Hallelujah. How are we going to add another person? Glory to God. But for the fathers who have that understanding of those principles, he know it is hard work. Glory to God. Some first time father, it is terrifying to, to hear that, the, the, that, that wife, hallelujah, glory to God, or rather she be a young woman said, I am pregnant I am going to have your child and he becomes terrified he runs away but a strong father a strong father is gonna say all right we're gonna put our heads together and we're gonna work this out I don't know anything about fatherhood because this is the first time I'm becoming a father. Hallelujah. So we're going to work it out. We may struggle, hallelujah, in raising the child. Hallelujah. But we're going to stay in there. We're going to stay together. We're going to make sure this child have a good future. Glory to God. We're going to protect it. We're going to cover it. We're going to be with that child. Glory to God. So that's the one that will stand. But the good thing is when we look at it from God's perspective. So that's how some of them look at it. Hallelujah. Some said fatherhood is a long life responsibility. Hallelujah. So when we think of fatherhood, it don't just happen when the child becomes 20 or 24. Fatherhood doesn't end there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I can always tell you about my kids. Hallelujah. I don't always remember the age. I don't know my wife will get at me. My son is 31. I think Nicole's is around 34. Hallelujah. But there's nothing that, that they're not willing to talk to me. Even though Nicole has been a mother, Neil, he doesn't have kids. But he still has questions. Hallelujah. And he can come and ask questions. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to me. So fatherhood doesn't stop when where our children becomes married. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Or oh, hallelujah. Or oh, they have grown up in life. We will always be a father. Hey, hey. And we can't get away from it. Why? Few minutes. We carry the seed. The man carry the sea. God has passed on. Oh, this is amazing. Don't let me get it. God has passed on the seed to the man. Hallelujah. So man, manhood is found in God. It is something that just happened. It is something that the world produces. It is something that science produces, but 
God, when he looked on the man, he said, I am going to make you the seed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because I am father and you are going to be a father also. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I mean, this is amazing. It's just amazing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. What we see today as I hurry along, hallelujah, hallelujah. Father is learned to how to inspire their children. Fathers must learn how to inspire their children. Hallelujah, glory to God. Encourage them, hallelujah. Now, we, in the 21st century, we see, we see a dramatic change starting in the 21st century. It could go, go way back, but that is now when mothers take on the workforce in the 21st century. Hallelujah. And it makes it now much tougher for the mother because back in the days, in my parents' day, it is said that a man is known not so much about, about who he is, but what he does. It makes the difference in what he does. And, and, and it's like, what do you mean what he does? It's like, okay, glory to God. He, he know what it means to work. He know he have to bring the money in. He have to have food on the table. Glory to God. And in the village, they said, there goes a right man, a good man, a good father. Glory to God. But glory to God. In those days, but fast forward to the 21st century, we are different in fatherhood as I come to close. Hallelujah. Mothers are involved now. Hallelujah. And it makes it even more tough. Hallelujah. Because in the days, mothers stay and they raise that child whilst the father is at work. But the time has changed. Hallelujah. How do we deal with these changes? Last thing, let's look into the 21st century. Hallelujah. What we have seen in the 21st century, also the same thing. We see an increase in female employment, an increase in fathers absent in the life of their children, and an increase in fathers, hallelujah, participation in their children's life. Hallelujah. So we are in a tough time, but if we are going to able to make it and be strong, stand up, not how the world want to call us father, but from God's perspective, the principles that God has laid down in his word. If we can follow the principles of God, we will live in a changing world. Hallelujah. We won't see so much single mothers today struggling. Glory to God. Not only single mothers, even though that person may be married. Glory to God. Sometimes the husband is gone his way and the wife is left alone. Hallelujah. To raise all those children all by herself. Hallelujah. So it is tough. Hallelujah. But when we understand it from God's perspective, how he has done it how he said to Abraham I will make you a father of nations and to tell you one thing as I close out that will have to be terrifying to be a father of all nations of many nations I think of pastors as I close right here on this I think for instance of Pastor Paul hallelujah look at it he has to be a husband mm -hmm. he has to be a father Glory to God that's hat, another hat he wear to his children. And he also has to be a spiritual father to us here at Destiny. No, that's three hats. That's a tough job. Hallelujah. A tough job. But glory to God. He understand it. Hallelujah. From God's perspective. And he is not afraid. Hallelujah. Being a biological father and a spiritual father. Glory to God, especially for those who don't have a, a physical father, a natural father, a biological father in their life. There you have a great man of God being a spiritual father to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we thank God this morning for fatherhood as you stand up because my time has gone. Hallelujah. I thank God for fatherhood. Hallelujah. And all that God is doing for fatherhood. May we follow the principles of God.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Understand it from God's perspective. See, God has Father. The first Father that we know about is the Heavenly Father. And because we can take examples from Him, it will make us even greater fathers. God bless you. May God encourage destiny this afternoon, Laura. And may God keep you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Back to our pastor, Paul Patrick. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Reverend Evelyn. I thought he was going to say Father Patrick. That's how you may see it. God bless you. Well, I thank God for the word. Amen. Fatherhood is a privilege. A privilege that comes with responsibilities. And we thank God that Reverend Evelyn has so clearly and excitedly inspired us to first of all recognize the connection between the earthly father and our heavenly father. Amen. He's our heavenly father. And he's given us as fathers a tremendous privilege to be fathers. But that comes with responsibilities as well. Thank you so much, Reverend Evelyn. At this time, we're going to prepare for water baptism while... Uh... As we prepare for water baptism, we have just one more step. We are excited. I bless God for today, who dedicated this day. Father, who is absent here but in heaven, she decided this is the day she wanted to honor her dad. And we, his sisters, Melvie and I, are supporting you. I want to put, put your hands together as Austin comes to present his dad and his granddad with uh, blessings, with the presentation. <laughs> Praise God. Austin and company. Put your hands together for our little ones. Hi, can you please come? Come. Thanks. Happy Father's Day. Ready? Okay. Happy Father's Day. Okay. Happy Father's Day. Okay. Happy Father's Day. Okay. Happy Father's Day. Okay. Really quickly, Emmy, can you come? You want to get your present, your shirt? Austin took pride and joy. Thank you, Sister Marcia. <laughs> oh, you want to see it? I'm sorry. Okay, sure. Thank you so much, Sister Marcia, for what you do with the children. As you saw, Austin takes pride and joy. He took pride and joy during the demonstration, making his daddy his shirt. Thank you, Mom. And he makes the colors himself. <laughs> Is it Daddy? Okay, he's being shy right now. So this is for Daddy. You want to see it? Okay. And then, you say it again? How do fathers die? Yes, Alex. Alex helping out. He also made one grandfather. Come on, Pastor. And this is Reverend Pastor's, Pastor's shirt. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we're going to move right along. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Alex. We're going to move all right along to the baptism. Happy Father. Who has been transformed from darkness into God's marvelous light to testify that this change, hallelujah, that the word of God promises us has taken place in her life or their life. And so today, we are so grateful today that we have at least one candidate. Amen. One person who is going to be water baptized. And I want to say that Trudy has been waiting for a few months as well. She's been waiting for this time for many, many months. And I trust that there are others here. We know there are others here who are born again, who are saved, who love the Lord. And I want to say to you, water baptism is not optional. Water baptism has been commanded in the scriptures. Water baptism is the next step to take you as a Christian to fulfill your purpose in God's kingdom. So I want to encourage God's people today. If you are here, you've been wondering, you've been thinking, it's time to make that decision and move forward. And let's 
let your light shine before the Lord. But before Trudy is baptized today, we're going to have her come and just share a short word of testimony to let us know what Christ has done in her life and what Jesus means to her. Come on, let's give her a round of applause. Good afternoon, everyone. When you were brought up in the church, I have a grandmother, a reverend that we had. We knew about God. We had no choice. But of course, I wanted to experience the world. And so I had one foot in the door and one foot out. Yes. <laughs> but when you realize that the world has nothing to give, nothing, and that you need the Lord in your life, you make that commitment. And so I know that my grandmother is looking down and she's very proud of me. And so is my dad, because I'm paying tribute on Father's Day to be baptized. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Truly, Lord, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, according to the Word of God and based upon your testimony of being saved, being born again, we now baptize you in Jesus' name. Amen. Beautiful. <laughs> Amen. 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 Come on, let's give the Lord some praise. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that exciting? Well, we wish you had a, we wish we had a couple more folks to put in the water. The water is still, is still good, amen. It's sanitized, and we give God praise for this precious day. So once again, a blessed, happy birth, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. God bless you folks. It's good to see a whole, a whole host of you visiting with us. I thank God for my sister-in-law, who is in the house of God today. Let's stand to our feet. God bless you. Enjoy the day. God, enjoy the day. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. God cause your wisdom to shine upon the fathers. Give the fathers strength. Give the fathers direction. Give the fathers a uh, purpose and greater hope. Bless the families today, oh God. Cover your people in your precious blood. And Father, we commit your people in your hands, in your care, in Jesus' wonderful name. And everyone says, amen. God bless you and have a precious day in the Lord. God bless you.